Hello and welcome back to Excel Statistics. Today we will be talking about the Poisson distribution. The Poisson distribution is one that is a special case uh, used to describe the arrival patterns of uh, people or objects to a service system. Uh, here you see again this is a discrete probability distribution similar to the binomial. Um, we're looking at uh, where the rate of arrival is equal to 6, uh, let's say per hour, um, as a unit of time. You can see here that while 6 is the average, 5 is very similar, and it's kind of uh, comes up quick, and then notice 12 is quite a bit higher than 0. Uh, this actually goes on uh, infinitely high to the right. Uh, this will get smaller and smaller and closer and closer to 0, but never quite get there. Uh, which you can say is the case, too, if you're looking at a arrival pattern at say a hospital emergency room uh, while the average may be six people an hour there is a possibility that you could have hundreds or more in an hour if there's a major accident in the area or some such other disaster uh, so there's a just a couple things we need to know in order to calculate this Poisson distribution uh, the first one of which is our arrival rate so we are going to talk about our arrival rate and we're gonna say that's six, and again, that is a rate of time, so I'm gonna put per hour here, there, as a reminder. And that's really the main thing we need to know. Uh, from there, we need to talk about uh, what happens for each one of our uh, different probabilities. So if we're looking for the probability um, that we have uh, six people per hour show up, uh, we're gonna put that in, and we'll start with our formula. And again, as we start typing Poisson, we get a couple show up here. Uh, this regular Poisson is an old formula for Excel used for compatibility purposes. So we're going to stick with the newer one, this Poisson.dist. And again, I'm going to go up here to my insert function button next to my uh, formula window, formula bar, and get that to get my function arguments window. So the first thing it asks me here is the number of events. Um, here I'm looking at six as the number of people I expect to arrive per hour. Uh, for the mean, that's our arrival rate here. It's expected numerical, and it does need to be a positive number. Like that, and I'm going to do an F4 there as well. And then here we've got our cumulative, uh, similar to the, which is a similar value to what we looked at with the binomial, but with the Poisson being slightly different. Uh, since the Poisson does not have a top end, we can't draw out that entire distribution and get the entire values. So this one's really kind of going to depend on whether we are going to do a, an equal to or a less than an equal to. In this case, we're looking for a value that has a distribution or the probability of having exactly six people arrive in an hour. So if, since we're looking for an exact number, we will use false here and get our probability mass function. There we go, we've got our probability that we have exactly equal to six people show up. If we wanted to do a less than or equal to six, um, we could grab this formula from above and go in and just make a quick edit to that and change this value to cumulative value to true. By doing that, now we've moved from a probability of equal to six to a probability of less than or equal to six. And there you can see the difference. So we went from a probability of 0.16 to a probability of 0.61 uh, if we were to round up there. Um, the next one I want to look at here is if we do a probability of less than 6. So like the binomial, the Poisson is a discrete probability distribution. We're not going to have 5.2 people arrive in an hour. So if we're looking for a probability that's less than 6, um, we can... Simply go in here back to our function window and change our x to 5. So this will give us a probability of less than or equal to 5, which is the same as the probability of less than 6, as you can see from this graph over here. So the final one that's a little more complicated is the probability of being greater than 6. Now this becomes a little bit more of a challenge, you would think, since uh, we cannot find the top end of this, we can't simply add up all of those numbers. But since we know that the total probability is always gonna add up to one for all the different outcomes, uh, we can simply 
when we want everything that's going to be 7 or higher, so we want to subtract away as less than or equal to 6. So I can take a probability of 1 minus my probability of less than or equal to 6, and that will give me the probability that it's greater than 6. And if we do a quick bit of math here and we add those two together, we will find that our probability does in fact equal 1. So that's all we have to discuss today on the Poisson distribution. I hope you found this uh, video useful, and we will see you again soon.